Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Best Today Podcast. I'm Shante Grant. I always say that, but you already know that if you listen to the intro. But just in case you skipped over the intro, which why would you miss that dance party opportunity? But anyway, just in case, I always feel like I should say hi to the first time listener. So hi, um, it's your girl Shante Grant from Best Today. And today I'm really excited to talk about four principles, um, the four pillars of Best Today. So it's a very um, short, I expect it to be a short episode, but essentially in episode one, the very first episode of the Best Today podcast, I talked to you about what we mean when we say the term Best Today, because we want to make sure, I want to make sure that we're very clear on what we mean when we say best today and what we don't mean. Because if you're new to us, you may take that to mean something. If you hear those two terms, that is completely opposite of what we teach. And so that was the purpose of that episode. And now here we are 32 episodes in 32 weeks later. And I have over the last month or so had the opportunity and the challenge to really boil down what we do here and try to explain it to other people who are unfamiliar with with Best Today, what we do, why we do it, who we do it for. And through this process I've been going through over the last uh, month or so, it's really helped me to refine and, and define a lot about this company, why we do what we do. You know, one of the first things I did was get really clear on our mission. So I've always been very clear on that, been very, um, it's very easy for me to articulate it. But what I want to make sure you're aware of are these four pillars. And I think for those of you who are not new to us, these will make perfect sense to you. You will say, we hear you say these things all the time, but I want to talk about why they are the pillars and what it means for us as a company. So we're going to talk about those four things because they're the four things I think are vital to, that need to be present in your life. And if I actually talked about two of these in an, a previous episode, um, which we will link in the show notes, episode 29, when I talked about the two most important things you need to live the life you want. So I'll link to episode one to episode 29 if you haven't listened to those. Um, but I want to talk about what those four pillars are, those four principles that back everything that we do here at Best Today. So let's get straight into talking about those four. Number one is we believe in being proactive. I don't think anyone who's been around that's a surprising thing. It's a word that we say a lot here and I'll elaborate on all of these as we go. Number two is we believe in being intentional. Number three, we believe in prioritizing self-awareness. And number four, we believe that doing all of the above, being proactive, intentional, and self-aware must be done with self-love at the forefront. So proaction, intentionality, self-awareness, and self-love are the four pillars that we build, I build everything upon in this company. Every product reflects these four principles, every resource, every podcast episode, every email, every caption on on Instagram, every text that we send to our tech squad, all the things that we do are a reflection of those four principles. Um, And I want you to make sure that, and I tell you that so you can hold us accountable, right? That these, these are the things that are at the core of what we do. And so we are a company that creates products and resources, like whether it's our podcast, our membership community, um, physical resources, digital resources, in person, hopefully one day events that all of these things help you to live a life of intention. And we understand that to get there, it requires you being proactive, meaning you planning ahead, you thinking about things before they occur. And what I know to be true is that is in order to be intentional, you have to know what it is you intend to do, what you intend for yourself, for your life. So this requires being aware of self. And I talk about that, like I said, in episode 29, where I talk about self-awareness and self-love, but oftentimes we forget to know ourselves. We will read books about how to be the perfect parent, spouse, friend, employee, leader, employer. I know that to be true. There's there's so many of you who have books about some type of relationship, child, parent, you know, like all the other relationships. But when do you take the time to prioritize getting to know the person you spend the most time with? And I have an episode where I talk about this as well. I'll link to that in the show notes where it talks about the importance of of 
your most important relationship being the one with yourself or something along those lines. I can't remember the title, but I will link to that in the show notes as well. Um, But we often will forget to get to know ourselves, to pause, to listen to ourselves, to seek to know why we think the way we do, why we feel the way we feel, because you don't see the immediate value. And because usually no one else is going to clap or reward you for that, right? If you do something for yourself, someone else doesn't see that benefit right then and there. But you help a friend, you help your friend move. They ask, can you come over and help me start packing up boxes, right? There's the benefit. They see that benefit. Um, You see the benefit. The friend is aware that you have helped them. You're going to get the thank you, the whatever. And that feels like an immediate reward or payback. But a lot of times you feel you don't get that when it's working with yourself or taking care of yourself. We lack that sense of reward with ourselves, yet that is the place that has the greatest reward. That's the thing I want you to understand because I know that it's a necessary ingredient to really help you change your life for the better and to be consistent Um, because I know these things. Taking this time to be self-aware, aware aware of self. Um, I can't talk about a life of intention without requiring, incorporating, and discussing self-awareness. And I do believe that's the place where that really separates us from what we do here at Best Today is we don't just give you blank products and say, go forth and prosper, good luck, fill out some sheets from what you're going to do from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and put a sticker on it. You know, that does not work for people who are actually looking for change and intention. Um, You need some guidance and you also need to be reminded of the person with the pen in her hand, and that's you. And that's why the Best Today Guide begins with talking about you. I'm not asking you to list out um, the stuff you want to do first, but really asking you about you. Who are you? Um, Who do you want to become? And what's the way, um, I guess, and what's in the way of you getting there and doing the things that you do want to do, but most importantly, becoming the person you want to become and looking forward and asking you, what does your best look like? It's why every morning in the Best Today Guide, I give you space to think about your best, your self-destructive behaviors, your vision, right? It's all you, your vi- you, 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 right? Do you hear the you There's so much you. Um, each day, I ask you to think ahead to what you will need for your mental, your emotional, your physical health when you're planning every day the night before in the Best Today Guide, asking you to think about you, not in a selfish way, but a self-aware way to tap into taking the space to think about um, you and what you need. So I want you to find that question of asking what you need, how you feel, what's going on within. I want that. The reason I make you do that every single morning, every single night tapping into you is because what I am hoping is happening is that you are starting to now make that a normal part of your conversation, of your thoughts. It's becoming more of a norm as opposed to, you know, um, well, not opposed to, but as opposed to what you ask yourself once rather than saying, oh yeah, I know I always ask myself about my physical, my emotional health when I go in my best today guide or in the morning I do it then. But I want it to become the thing that you do when you're going throughout your day and you feel frustrated or you feel a certain way that you take the time and ask yourself, okay, what's what's going on here? What What is this thing that I feel? Because you've gotten so used to really taking a moment for yourself as opposed to waiting to take the moment for yourself once you've had a breakdown or you've hit a wall or you've just had a, you know, a complete meltdown in the middle of the store because it was like the camel that broke the, or the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm trying to help us not get to that place. Let's do the work on the front end being proactive. There you go. You know? Um, And then that last component is self-love, but The thing about self-love is by doing those first three things, that is evidence of self-love by actually caring enough to be proactive, to think ahead for ourselves, to want to be intentional and to be self-aware. I believe that that is self-love, that those are forms of self-love. You know, I don't want you to mistake what we do here at Best Today as a reason to beat yourself up because what I'm trying to do is present you with um, hope and tangible steps, practical, real things you can do to get there um, with a mirror to hold up to see not only who you are today, but also who you want to become um, as I do for my, my own self. 
At Best Today, we exist to help women just like you Be your best one today at a time. So each week on the podcast, we are going to highlight your stories and your voices. So let's see what's in the inbox today. This week, we have a message from Joy that reads, I love it. I love using the Best Today Guide. It helps me to stay organized and see the big picture of my weeks and days. Previewing my week each Sunday lets me see ahead to what I will be doing that week. Planning the night before not only helps me to think about what I'm doing the next day, but also what I'm doing for my mental, emotional, and physical health. This allows me to plan for my well-being. Each morning, I already have an idea as to what my day will look like. Using the Best Today Guide has allowed me to be proactive with my life. Well, I mean, that says it all. Thank you so much, Joy, for essentially walking through those three steps of the Best Today Guide, previewing your week every week, planning every day, the day or night before, and starting your day in the morning with those principles of defining what your best looks like today, identifying those self-destructive habits, and picturing and reminding yourself of your vision for your future, your life. If you're unfamiliar with the Best Today Guide, I want to invite you right now to go to besttodayguide.com where you can see videos inside of everything every single section and page of the Best Today Guide, read read testimonials and reviews, listen to reviews, watch reviews. We have every different way for you. So go to besttodayguide.com right now and join the thousands of women from across the globe who have learned how to be intentional and proactive with their day to day through using the Best Today Guide. Thanks again, Joy. So in doing that, it's not to beat you up or to point a finger at you. I want you to see the fact that you are here listening to this episode of this podcast. I hope you see that that is an act of self-love. The fact that you want to do this work of being intentional, that is self-love. You know, I say it at the end of every single episode here, but you are worthy. You are worthy of being your best. You are worthy of love. Listen to episode 19, um, Truths to Remind Yourself Every Day. That's another episode I will add in today's show notes, which you can get at besttodayguide.com forward slash 32. Um, but I say that every single week here on the podcast, I remind you that you are worthy. You're worthy of the dreams that you have in your heart and your mind. You're worthy of your your best one today at a time and the process to figure out what that even looks like and means for you. And you already have within you right now today, everything you need to have everything you want. It's just a process, but you have to move to begin the process or continue the process. And to be clear, when I talk about self-love also, there is no space, and I say this in episode one, I'm sure, for shame or guilt in best today. When I talk about, when we talk about best todays, um, shame and guilt are not a part of that. They cannot be. So when we talk about self-love, I want to be clear that it's important when doing this work of living a life of intention that you do so from a place of loving yourself and not picking yourself apart, not looking at all the things you've done before or aren't doing the way you want right now. It's loving yourself enough to learn, to unlearn and to grow, to be better and to do better. That's the self-love that I'm talking about and that we reflect here in all that we do. And so I wanted to show just through some, not all of our products, but some of the things that we do, how you can see those principles um, lived out and really um, exemplified in the products. The first being, of course, our hero product, the Best Today Guide. Um, It helps you. The whole point of that product is to help you to be proactive and and intentional in your day, um, teaching you consistency, which hello, consistency is a form of self-love, loving yourself enough to be the person um, who who is consistent, who's reliable, who does what she says she will do, who is honest, who has integrity is really, really important. And I can't tell you, I've lost count at the number of people who have said, this thing, this product, the best that it got has taught me how to actually be consistent and become a person who does what she says she's going to do because you've ripped all the excuses from me from not to. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly what those results and outcomes look like. I know what I'm doing for myself. I've set up a bedtime. I've set up a, a wake time. And now it's just doing what I said I'm going to do. And it requires me to do it every single day. You know, the best day guide I know has taught so many of you how to keep your word to yourself, you know, how to say, I'm going to commit to using this product for 14 weeks. 
and another 14 weeks after that. And making the easy choice uh, and, and refusing to make the easy choice of quitting or giving up because that's the easy choice. But it's not the choice that's going to get you to where you want, you know, by saying I'm going or getting it and letting it sit. You know, a lot of times I've heard for so many people, we're just talking about this as a team. We're starting to see a lot of return customers, people who bought Best Today Guys in 2020, just the first one. And it's what, nine months, 10 months into the year by the time this episode comes out into a new year and that they have let that thing sit there. But something has happened when we believe it's the change that's going on where, you know, people are slowly starting to get back into schedules um, outside of home that that pressure, which I'm going to be talking about in another episode soon, um, is really making you remember, you know, I did have a tool that helped me with this. And when I used it, it was fantastic. Or I have this tool I bought and I never used. And we're starting to see people come back now who hadn't purchased all 2021, but they're getting now their second best today guide. And we're starting to see that, you know, you're you're making the choice of committing to what it is you've started. And so the Best Today Guide is an excellent way that you can see how those four principles are exemplified in one of our products. Right now, routine, which is teaching you how to make routine work for your life, how simple it can be, removing the scariness or the misunderstanding, um, the stuffiness, the it must look like this to be a routine, this like removing all of that. Um, and teaching you how to be proactive. You know, the, the pillar you see strongest in right now routine is that pillar of being proactive and creating these routines and knowing how to create those for your life. But it's also being self-aware and also self-loving to create those things and to be aware of where are the places where I need it, which we talk and teach you how to do inside of right now routine. I think about Plans Be Done, both the live workshop that we did, now the the digital product that we have, um, and the physical Plans Be Done pad that we have. And when I think about Plans Be Done, I think planning, right? Which is allowing you to be proactive and intentional, being clear on what you want to do and how to get it done. Teaching you this method on how to plan anything from home, from work, for you, for your child, anything in between uh, for your team. We have people who use this for work, for home. I've seen just about anything being planned on here. And I love seeing that. And what then again, you see there is this reinforcement of taking the space and the time to be proactive and intentional, be very clear on what your plan is, love yourself enough to then stick to the things you're going to do, but also to allow yourself the room and the space to tweak as needed. Then I think about the membership community that we have that you can join um, at besttodaycommunity.com. The membership is not always open. So if you do go and there is a wait list, just make sure you get on that list to be notified when we open the doors again. But inside of the community is, first of all, Bef- not even talking about the fantastic community, the support. Before we get to that, there is curriculum that literally the first lesson, it, the entire first chapter is called awareness. It helps you to really begin to deepen and, and get into this journey of understanding yourself and taking the time and space to do that. And I can't tell you how many people have come in and said, wow, I do don't think I know the answer to this immediately about myself. And I'm so grateful now to have the chance to sit and think and write. And so the curriculum is a fantastic component of the community that we really don't talk about a lot. We probably should do that more, but um, it's a fantastic, I mean, that alone in itself is worth the community, but that's just one piece of it. There's the community that's also filled with love and support for you um, And that comes from all the ways people in there helping you, encouraging you to be proactive, be intentional, be self-aware, be self-loving. So the community is another beautiful example of how these four pillars are exemplified in what we do. And so that's what I wanted to share with you today. These four pillars or principles that we stand upon and what I create, um, knowing that all, all of our products understanding, like when I'm creating and thinking about the things that I want to create every product I've ever created I can point you right back to one, if not all four of those pillars in that and that what we do here point back to those pillars and reinforce those things um, because I do believe and know to be true that those are the things that are going to help you get where you want to be. You'll see this in our future products. There are things that I'm working on as we speak and things that are coming out as I'm coming out in a a month or so and just so exciting. Just I think the beauty, beauty of getting clear on who we are and what we want to produce in this, in this world, which is exactly what we tell you to do with you um, is the fruit 
of those things are so sweet because you see them do what they were created to do in the lives of the people that we create for, which is you, you listening. Yes, you, I create for you. Um, So thank you for allowing me to share more of why we do what we do and how we do what we do and what those pillars, what the backbone of this company looks like. Um, I hope that has helped you to get to know more of why I do what I do, why we create what we create. Um, And I'd love to hear your questions, your thoughts. You can always text us at 404-737-1002 or leave us a voicemail by going to today's show notes. Shante Grant, not Shante Grant. Best Today Guide. There we go. Besttodayguide.com forward slash 32. Besttodayguide.com forward slash 32. There's a button. You just press it and you can share, send us a message 365 days of the year, 24 seven. Okay. So thank you so much for being present with me for this week's episode of the Best Today podcast where I got to share with you our four pillars and principles. And until next time, I need you to remember that you are capable and worthy of being your best one today at a time. And you already have everything you need to have everything you want. So go on and shout it out as you live it out. This is what my best today looks like. I'll talk to you again real soon. Don't forget to check out those episodes. I reference, I reference a lot of great episodes, um, which I have them all linked for you at besttodayguide.com forward slash 32. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this week's episode of the Best Today podcast, you are going to love the Best Today Guide. Our Better Than a Planner guide teaches you how to get clear on what you want, identify your self-destructive habits and behaviors, and intentionally create space to prioritize yourself every single day. Don't go the journey to being your best one today at a time without the Best Today Guide. See inside its pages and order yours today at besttodayguide.com. Even better, when you order the Best Today Guide, we gift you with your first month free inside of the Best Today membership. So what are you waiting for? We're giving you everything you need to trade busy for intention. Go to besttodayguide.com and order yours today and join thousands of women across the globe proclaiming each day, this is what my best today looks like.